Hey fellow experimenters and welcome back. In this video we're going to experiment with what's known as flameless uh, ration heaters or FRH for short. They come in many different shapes and sizes and they're relatively small and have a high energy density. Flameless ration heaters are commonly used in the military out on the field by campers and hikers because they're light and when activated by adding water, pro provide enough heat to heat up or even cook a meal. And that's uh, why they come in so useful. And they're ever so popular. They've been around for a while. According to Wikipedia, the material in a flameless ration heater consists of an alloy of magnesium with a small amount of iron. So it's an iron magnesium alloy and then some sodium chloride or salt. And that's all it needs. And water is added to it, which activates the reaction between the magnesium and the water, which generates magnesium hydroxide. So let me open one up. And I'm gonna put the contents in this bottle because it's, it's air and water sensitive. They typically come in these pouches, which are strong cloth pouches to prevent the reactants from getting into the food. So I'm gonna open this one up and show you what it looks like. It should be a gray metallic powder. So that's what it looks like. We're gonna quickly put it in this bottle. Now after it's reacted with water, that's what it looks like. This is mostly magnesium hydroxide, this white material. Now, the products of the reaction include generation of hydrogen gas, and that's why this material it can't be used in a closed space. It has to be used in open spaces where the hydrogen can vent. And if you use this in, in a house, the hydrogen and your carbon monoxide detector will go off, thinking that there's carbon monoxide. So let's do a reaction with a small amount of this. I've got this test tube, I've got a cork, and on the end of the cork, I have a setup where I can burn the hydrogen that's generated. So here's the hydrogen burning, as you can see there. So now we're gonna cook some food with one of these heating packs. And then the purpose of today's experiment is to actually see if we can make our own heating pack but with different ingredients because it's pretty much impossible in a home lab to make magnesium iron alloy. There's just no way of doing it practically in the home lab. So as our alternative ingredients, I'm gonna show you something that might work. So let's just test a regular pack and then we'll compare it with what we have. So here's one of these packs. Here's a noodle container. Got a couple of them here. The pack is placed in the bottom like that. It's just barely covered with water. That should be enough water to get everything boiling well. We put our noodle container in there and we have some sample noodles here. Okay, we'll put half the noodles here. Cover these in some water. And it takes a little while for the pack to activate, but once it's activated, it kind of starts going fairly exothermically. All right, be back in a second. You can kind of hear it going already. You can see all of the, uh, the steam coming out of there. Let's try and light that hydrogen. Looks like our noodles are gonna be cooked real soon. And it looks like the noodles 
already. Let's check these out. The taste test, here we go. Wow, those are good. Yep, works great. And the noodles are perfect. Since this powder contains magnesium mixed with salt, let's see if we can cause it to burn. Here goes. So it doesn't seem very flammable, likely because the magnesium is finely divided and mixed with the salt, which probably acts as some kind of fire retardant. For our second heating ingredients, we're using finely divided aluminum powder, 30 micron, and we're using just lime, calcium oxide powder. And we're gonna mix them up in this cup over here, and then make our own heating bag and see if it works. So for this to go, I'm going to use spoon, two shallow spoons of the aluminum powder and then excess lime. A couple of spoons of lime here. They're heaped. Definitely an excess here. The exact quantities of the ingredients don't matter going to mix it up to make our FRH, homemade FRH, ready to go. We're going to pack that into one of the bags that I opened up to take the powder out of. We'll just pack it in like this. You can use the entire contents of the cup. All in there. And to make our bag, what I'm going to do is kind of turn it like this, kind of staple it shut. Um, hopefully that'll hold it shut. It has pores in the bag to release the gases and steam. Now this is totally experimental, so I'm going to put extra staples actually. So here's our homemade FRH. We'll put that into our heating container like this. We'll pour on some water. That should be enough to get it going. And we'll come back in a little bit. Let's put our noodles, our second batch of noodles. And check how this one works. Let's see if we can cook them with a homemade unit. Some water in there to cook these noodles. There we go. And we should be back in a little bit. I think it's going to take a little while to activate. Make sure that's closed. We're good to go. As you can see, it's already started heating up. It was pretty quick, actually. It was faster than the, the original one that I bought. Now for the taste test. To get the noodles out. Whoops, still pretty hot. That's how our homemade FRH looks. Looks exactly like the one you buy. It's full of aluminum hydroxide instead of magnesium hydroxide. And still, it's still making some hydrogen and still boiling up that water a little bit. Now let's try these noodles. Oh yeah, perfectly cooked. Let me just make sure they're cooked. Yep, no, no, great. So there you are folks, um, homemade FRH. And we demonstrated that it works probably about just as well as one that you can buy. And it's easily made with ingredients that you can get from any store. Lime and aluminum powder, you can order those ingredients also, such as eBay or um, Amazon. And I can probably reuse that bag by removing the staples, um, emptying out the spent material, drying the bag and refilling it. 
So that's a good way to make your own um, uh, FRH flameless uh, pack. Um, here's some commercial ones again. Thanks for watching, and I do appreciate you for checking this video out. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these and other similar videos.